Today, we are going to have a look at how we can write a mixed number like this one as an improper fraction. So, let's pretend we've got one whole fizzer bar, chocolate bar, whatever. Let's talk about fizzer bars. If we have one whole fizzer and we want to see what three and four fifths of them will look like, let's try and draw a picture. Now we know that if we've got three and four fifths of a fizzer bar, we'll definitely have one, two, three fizzer bars, and we'll have a little bit extra. So that's why I've drawn four here. When we come to coloring it in to depict three and four fifths, coloring in the three is very easy, right? We've got three. Now we've got to color in the four fifths. Well, obviously, if I need to color in four fifths of this last fizzer bar, I must divide it up like I have into five pieces. So I've cut it into fifths, and now I want to have four fifths. And so my picture looks like this. So here is a picture of three and four fifths. One, two, three holes, and then four fifths of another hole. How can we then write this as an improper fraction? Well, what we need to do is have everything in terms of fifths. So let's cut up all our fizzer bars into fifths. And this is what it would look like. We can then see quite easily that what we have is 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We've got 19 fifths. So 3 and 4 fifths is the same as 19 fifths. Let's just look again at how we would calculate how many fifths we have in this picture. Each of the whole fizzer bars is made up of 5 fifths. We have got 1, 2, 3 of these fizzer bars. So in order to calculate how many fifths we've got in those three whole fizzer bars, we say 3 multiplied by 5. So 3 multiplied by 5 will give us those number of fifths. But then there were 4 extra from here, so we have to add it on. So our total is 3 times 5 is 15 plus 4, which gives us the 19. And let's see how we could easily see that in here. 3 times the 5 to get the number of fifths in the whole fizzer bars plus the four little extra ones that are there. Gives us 19. Okay, open your homework books and do this question. Turning, first of all, color in two and three quarters in those um, diagrams that you're given and then write two and three quarters as an improper fraction. Pause the video and do it now. All right, your answer should look something like this. You've colored in two full ones and three out of the four in the next. How many quarters are there in total then? Well, to work that out, we are going to say two multiplied by four, which will give us how many there are here. In other words, two times by four. And then we need to add on these little three extra. So this three extra plus, oh, let me get a pen, plus 3, which gives us 11. And so we've got 2 and 3 quarters written as an improper fraction is 11 quarters. Okay, so now we want to get away from having to draw the picture each and every time that we do it. So what we're going to do is just use the little trick we've seen, which is that you say 2 times 4 to get the number in the whole ones and add on the three little extras. Let's have a look at a few examples. So what 7 and 2 thirds is an improper fraction? Well, to do that, we are going to say 7 multiplied by 3, which gives us 21. And then we're going to add on the 2. So we're going to say 7 times by 3, add on the 2, 
and we're still dealing in thirds. So we have 21 plus 2, which is 23 over 3. Or if we had 6 and 3 tenths, here we would say 6 times 10. And then we need to add on those little three extra. So we need to add on those three. And we're still dealing in tenths. So we will have 63 over 10. Okay, quickly try the last one yourself. Let's pause the video. Turn four and three fifths into an improper fraction. Your answer should look something like this. You should take 4 and multiply it by 5 and add on 3. You're still dealing in fifths. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 gives us 23 over 5. If we want to know what this point A is on the number line, we can first look and see how many pieces has our unit our gap between 0 and 1, the unit, being divided up into. And we can see it's been divided up into 1, 2, 3 pieces. So what we're dealing with here on the number line is thirds. How many thirds have we moved to when we get to A? Well, we've gone 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, 4 thirds. So A is 4 thirds. Now you should remember from last year that's an improper fraction and we can always turn an improper fraction into a mixed number. Let's remind ourselves how we do that. We say 3 divide into 4. It goes one time with 1 remaining. right? So we've got 1 and 1 third. And we can see how that makes sense on the number line. There's the 1 and there's the 1 third. So 4 thirds is the same as 1 and 1 third. Now let's put a point there at B. Now that one we could see as being, we've gone 1 and 1, 2 thirds, right? So at point B we're at 1 and 2 thirds. Let's remind ourselves how we turn that back into an improper fraction. Well, what we do, if you remember from last year, is we say 1, the whole number, times 3, right? Because that tells us how many thirds you've got here. And then we add on those two extra little thirds that we've got. So let's do that. We say that we have 1 times 3, which is 3, plus 2. Let me just do that slowly. 1 times 3, which is 3, plus 2, which is 5. So what we have is 5 thirds. And you should see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 makes perfect sense in terms of what we can see on the number line. Okay, now I want you to just check you've got this right. So pause the video and try this in, the, in your um, homework books. I want you to turn 11 sixths into a mixed number. I want you to turn 2 and 1 sixths into an improper fraction. And I want to put you to show me where both of those two sit on the number line. Pause the video and try it now. Okay. Let's just check that you managed to get that. Let's start with this one, the 11 sixths, and we see where that is on the number line. Well, our number line has been divided up into sixths, right? So that makes it easy. So let's do 11 sixths. Well, we know there's six of them there, and then we need 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So our 11 sixths is going to sit over here on our number line. And what is that going to be as a mixed number? Well, I've got to say 6 goes into 11. It goes in once with 5 left over. So it's 1 and 5 sixths. And I can see that on the number line quite easily. I've got 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sixths, right? So 11, 6, 1 and 5, 6, the same thing. All right, what about 2 and 1 6? Well, to get to 2 and 1 6, I've got to go 2 and 1 more 6. So this is the point 2 and 1 6. Now, if I want to turn that into a, an improper fraction, I have to say 2 times 6, which is 12, plus 1, which is 13. So I get 13 over 6. And you should be able to see that, right? If you count here, you've got 6, 12, 13. You've got 13 sixths.